Welcome to the application video about step scan spectroscopy and source characterization. Today, I'd like to show you how to characterize the temporal and spectral behavior of a pulsed laser source with our Vertex ATV spectrometer. For that purpose, I placed a pulsed laser source on the right side of the spectrometer at the entrance port. I aligned everything in a way that the laser radiation travels through the interferometer and finally hits the MCT detector of the spectrometer. The trigger output of the pulsed laser source is connected to the trigger input of the spectrometer. After we set everything on the hardware, we can then start the step scan measurement within the Opus software. We open the step scan measurement dialog. We choose experimental parameters, which are the same as in a standard measurement. In the recorder setup, we can choose the time settings. We use microseconds because we know that the pulse sequence is in the kilohertz regime. We use a 16 wave number spectral resolution, which makes the measurement to last for a few minutes. We accelerate this a little bit in here. After the measurement finished, we open the result and we see two pulses. We can zoom into the spectral region. We see that the pulses are located around 6,450 wave numbers. In the temporal profile, the pulses appear very sharp. We want to change this. We do that by using a higher temporal resolution. This can be made sure by using in the recorder setup a higher temporal resolution. We make sure we use the same overall time window we keep the 16 wave number resolution. This means the measurement time again is around a few minutes. We again accelerate this a little bit in here. After the measurement finished, we will see that the noise is a little bit higher now, but we see the same two pulses at the same positions. The noise is higher because we now use the fast components, but we can now see that the temporal profile of the pulse is now more, or more like a plateau. We see that the pulse length is around 10 microseconds. And of course, the position of the pulse in the spectral domain is the same. As last measurement, I want to do the most sophisticated measurement from today. I want to show you a high spectral, high temporal resolution measurement. We load the correct XPM. We don't change anything, only the resolution to 0.8 wave numbers. We start the measurement. This now is a measurement that takes several 10 minutes, simply because the scanner has to access more data points in the interferogram. We, fin we accelerate this again, and we see that we now can resolve individual laser modes in the spectral domain. In the lower right corner, we can now see this. We see several individual laser modes, and in the temporal profile, we can again see a plateau of the pulse simply because we kept the high temporal resolution in this measurement. This nicely shows that in the step scan measurement, you can combine high temporal and high spectral resolution. They don't exclude each other, as it is the case for rapid scan measurement. With these three measurements, I hope I was able to show you how to characterize a pulse source with our Vertex ATV spectrometer. I just want to summarize now what we did. We first did microsecond step spectroscopy in order to characterize the repetition rate of the pulse source. Then we did nanosecond step scan spectroscopy in order to characterize the pulse length. And in the end, we also did high spectral resolution step scan spectroscopy, where we uh, had a high spectral and temporal resolution, and we were able to see the individual laser modes. I hope you enjoyed this application video. In case you did, feel free to watch other videos on our channel.